Well, joining me as a man who knows all about playing, it's Tommy Harris. Hello, Tommy. All right, Johnny. It's good to see you. And uh, how are you finding the lockdown, Tommy? What do you mean, lockdown? The enforced isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah, I think I heard about that, actually, yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during nap time, so... Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. I'm going to ask contestants from around the territory three questions about what else yours truly. And those people are going to get a chance to win a very special prize. And what are they playing for, Tommy? Drum roll, please. Jeremy. Oh. Thank you. This. Is that... What is that? It's my athletic support, Jeremy. Oh. But I've signed it, so... Oh, well then. What a fantastic prize. Have we got anybody waiting to win this once-in-a-lifetime prize, Jerry and Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Um, how do you feel about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, Jeremy. And can I just say, I love you. Both of you. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, uh, Angie, I love you. In a way. Tell us about yourself, Angie. Well, what can I say? Uh, my name is Angie. <laughs> Always has been. Um, I'm a human woman. And my dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, John. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you yeah. start and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts n -n 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? The 13th of August at 7.19am. That is absolutely correct. Question two. What? I said, what is my favourite Colour. Crushed praline four. Correct, the colour of my nipples. And finally, Angie dear, what is my star sign? That's a trick question. You were born outside of the human understanding of the cosmos. Unbelievable, that is correct. Stop the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Tommy? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right which of course means you lose and win absolutely nothing thanks for playing angie bye do we have another contestant on the line at jelly bean we do indeed we should have sonia Artleach. are you there sonia <laughs> of course i am jamie darling thank you for being here sonia oh there you are tommy Mwah. let me guess you work in theater don't you is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? <laughs> it certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us about yourself, Sonia. <gasps> oh, well, if you must play this game. <laughs> I am a theatrical agent. I represent the likes of Rudy Beefman, Samuel Coffee Cup, and Jodie Carpetburn, amongst others. And how's the lockdown affected you, Sonia? Well, they may have closed the theatres, shut the studios, and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in all of my artist contracts, I am able to claim my 15% from their unemployment benefit. <laughs> wow, that certainly is sharp. Standard stuff, standard stuff. And can I ask, where are you speaking to us from? Well, I work from home, you know, to keep costs down. And uh, who's this? Oh, <laughs> well... You know, when they gave the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. No. Fucking. Way! What the fucking fuck? Is that Tommy Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, no. Tommy? We've got time, we've got time. 
Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, I, I'd love to show you some of my stuff. I've been working on some new shit. Well, at least you're already aware. During lockdown, uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you near their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been developing uh, some shows for younger children. Well, we'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? Absolutely dying to. <laughs> right, so, what do kids love? Uh, timely child support payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers. That's right. Animals! So, I'm trying to address the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? I think... yes. I think so, yes. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayments. It's about a lion who's having problems with his interest rates. I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? Well, your work is universal, darling. Oh. It speaks oh. to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I think you're onto something here. Oh. oh, the bear, the bear. Oh, yes, bear. yes, yes, yes. Right. <clears throat> this one is much better. So, this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. Now, Mr. Bear is a very sad bear, because all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much, and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. I think you're under something there. Now, Mr Bear is a tragic figure. Picture this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing in. He can't even face his salmon, can he? No. But then he meets someone that will change his life forever. This is fucking gripping. That's right. He meets a wise old octopus who takes him under his wing and says, No, Mr. Bear, don't be sad. You're not like all the other bears. You have this ambition and these dreams. Such fucking dreams. <laughs> I think I love you, Jeff. <laughs> and what you need to do, Mr. Bear, yeah. says the octopus, yeah. probably doing an eight-armed gesture or something. Yeah. What you need to do to find happiness in this crazy old forest is you need to set yourself more realistic goals. It's called Mr. Bear Lowers His Expectations. Wow. You really have taken yourself to new depths. And what do you oh. want children to take away from this? Oh, fuck shit, shit, fuck. What? I said a more realistic worldview. Are you all right, Jamboree? It's Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Listen. Donington. Uh, no, stop. How does it end? We need to know how it ends. Well, all the animals learn a thing or two about inevitable mediocrity. And Mr Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into, into bear telemarketing. <laughs> And becomes a bear maths teacher. Oh, and we end. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! We end on a big musical number. Oh, there's dancing. Uh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you like, I could go and get my boombox. Yeah, uh, you know, I might be able to. Hang on. Uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? The more, the merrier, as they say at orgies. <laughs>